sincere. Wow, you're so pretty today. You're so. I brush my teeth. <gasps> you brush your teeth? Okay. You brush your teeth too? So these are so that because I can't give you a hug right now. These are so that whenever you want a hug, you can have a hug from Uncle Matthew. Even though, even though I have to stay over here, I still wanted to say happy birthday because it's our fifth, fifth. Wait, that's ten. Fifth birthday. Wait, is it your tenth birthday? Oh no, it's it's only one. It's one. And you got balloons. Yeah, that one says thinking of you. Hey friends, it's Matthew. Uh, how are you doing? And I just wanted to stop by for a, just a quick encouragement. Saturday morning, we're about to go do a lot of work in the yard, detail a car, wash some cars, power wash a driveway. I don't I didn't even know all the things that are gonna happen this weekend, <laughs> but felt like this week really was a challenging week for a lot of friends in a lot of ways, just whether it's impact of, um, I just know a lot of people who have, have, have lost, lost loved ones as a result of the virus or whether it's the crisis and, and the way that things are changing. For me personally, my hours changed this last week and so it's not sustainable even though I've been so blessed to work from home. And so this, this crisis keeps evolving and it keeps uh, creating new challenges. And uh, it's almost like detours. You know, like I, I, I take a left down this road thinking I can get around this thing and then all of a sudden, boom, there, there's it's blocked. And now we got to do things in a new way. First was working from home. Now it's how do I do X amount in, in half the time um, and still create uh, uh, momentum for the company. And, and so because, you know, leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. All of us are are having some capacity as leaders. So I just wanted to give you this thought and this encouragement this morning on a Saturday. And, and that is that leaders, the crisis creates distraction. But leaders, this is from John Maxwell, <laughs> the one and only, but leaders create traction. And I think one of the most important things that I've been learning in this time is the importance of movement, that in, in, a, in a crisis situation like this, even though you don't know the path, even though you don't know the way things maybe are gonna look, and maybe you don't know the best way to get through it, more important than anything else is to create traction, to create movement, and that is how we're gonna get through this together. And so at the end of the day, if we can just keep the main thing, the main thing, if we can do just what we can do right now. There is no five step plan. There is no 12 step plan. There is no 100 steps to success. There is no 80 steps to extreme profitability. There is no uh, marketing plan. Nothing, nothing works in this time the way that we expect it to work. And so therefore we're just gonna have to be adaptable and try one thing at a time. And so that's my encouragement to you today is, is to stay grounded take a minute to breathe and reflect and you know I think back a year ago a year ago this time was the hardest time I had ever experienced in my life things were going so well and in that time I I ended this this relationship that I thought was going to be a lifelong uh, partnership and uh, so I think back to that and I think about how difficult that was and how jarring that was and how challenging that time was and, and what's gotten me through and, and now we're in a similar time now just a year later but, but in the meantime, we've continued to grow in, in community and fellowship. And so uh, if there's anything I can do to help, you know, please feel free to reach out, uh, call, send a text. And um, but I'm praying for you guys. And I and, uh, just really, really, I really, truly believe that, that the best is yet to come, that good things are happening in the midst of all the difficulty, all the loss. And, and that might sound trite and maybe it does. And uh, yeah, I got asked the other day, like, how can you be so happy? And uh, the truth is, um, it's not it's not happiness. It's it's that I spent so many years in misery 
that each morning I take the time to find joy. And I choose joy despite the circumstances, despite the challenges, despite whatever difficulties may arise. And so, and for me, my, my grounding factor on that is my faith. And so whatever it is for you, whether it's meditation, whether it's prayer, whether it's getting on your knees, whether it's a community, friendship, family, whatever it is for you, take a minute to reflect this morning and, and stay grounded in what it is that, that really lifts you up, that, that can, can focus your joy and then allow you to step back and say, okay, what is the main thing right now? And let's keep the main thing, the main thing. Let's only do the next thing, not the, the eight things that we need to do our eight step plan. Let's just focus on the next thing that we can do right now. I love you guys. May God bless you. And I'll see you in the next one.